Well, after a year of the virtual classroom, it's finally time to come back to the real thing. And I, for one, am reminded of the words of Betty Davis in All About Eve, if I may paraphrase. Ladies and gentlemen, fasten your seatbelts. It's gonna be a bumpy ride. But it doesn't have to be. It can be smoother sailing than we may imagine. Yes, we're nervous. Yes, we don't know what to expect. But stick with me and let's talk about a few ways we can make the transition a smooth one. Hi and welcome to Classroom Confidential. My name is Christopher Youngren and I'm a middle school English teacher in Tucson, Arizona. Here on this channel, I share tips and strategies I've used to keep me sane and my students engaged. I'm delighted to share my ideas and experiences with you. So welcome. Well, we blinked and before we knew it, the summer was gone. And now here it comes, a brand new school year. And a school year unlike one that we've ever experienced before. I mean, last year was one thing, but now after such a long time away from the classroom, the students are coming back. And there are many things that we need to keep in mind, both for ourselves and for them as they do so. So I'd like to welcome you to a brand new limited series right here on Class Classroom Confidential about what to expect as we return to in-person learning after such a long time away. Things to keep in mind for yourselves and for your students. So school starts officially tomorrow, but today we did something called boot camp, which is for the students who had never been on campus before so they can meet the teachers and kind of get a lay of the land. And it was my job to give them a sort of jungle cruise tour, which is uh, why I'm dressed like jungle gym. Actually, I always dress like this, but uh, today I had a reason. And in order to sell the metaphor, I started off by talking to them about how we were entering uncharted territories, uncharted waters. We're venturing into the unknown, but we're doing it together. I reminded them right off the bat that the teachers have been through last year too, right there with them. And so they are not alone and they are in good hands and we will lead them where they need to go. And I think letting them know and reminding them that you as teachers have been with it right along with them humanizes you. It, it, it kind of levels the playing field. They still know that you are in charge. They know you're the teacher, but they also recognize that you've all been through this great big weirdness together. And reminding them of this shared experience brings you together right away because you know you were all in this together and they recognize that there's something that you have in common from the very outset. And so then before we took our jungle cruise around the school, I like to use a metaphor of going on a trip, going on an adventure together. Any kind of new uh, excursion requires everybody to be working together as a team. And this immediately puts them in the mindset of working together and knowing that we're all in this together once again and that we all have each other's back. But we all need to start off focused and paying attention. And the way I do this is I take them back to elementary school for a second and I say, hey, do you remember this one? And I say, good, now repeat after me. And then I say, now that we've established that, I never ever want you to do that pattern again. So if I go, you go. And if I go, you go. But if I go, I want silence, and then I'll know that everybody is ready to depart. This exercise is so effective and simple, and the kids absolutely love it when you lose your ding-dang mind anytime they mess up. And believe me, they will mess up because instinctively their bodies are trained to repeat after you when you go, so the takeaways here from our very first meeting with the students is A, to remind them that we've all been through a whole lot of weirdness in the last 12 to 16 months, and then to start off with a fun activity. It, it loosens them up and it lets them know that school is not anything to be afraid of and that we're gonna have a whole lot of fun this year and we're gonna learn a whole lot as well. 
Hey, if you got value from this video, why not check out some of the other videos right here on Classroom Confidential. I got a ton of great stuff and more on the way, including Zoom Prov games, classroom management strategies, one minute mysteries, magic tricks for the classroom, and more in this continuing series of back to school specials. Thanks for joining me today. Take care of yourselves. Take care of someone else. It's going to be a heck of a year.